All right, so if Frankie skulls this shot, hits the barn, and still makes par, he gets a Barney. No Let's windows just try on it. it. There's no windows on it. He's just going to try to hit the barn. All right, today, this is a super exciting one for us because it's a course, but both of us have never I know, played. that's rare. When was the last time that happened? Yeah, it's been a while. And it's also a place that we've both been chomping at the bit to play. We've seen the pictures on Instagram. Yep. Absolutely gorgeous course here, Hamilton Farm. Uh, I'm so excited to get out there. I know, just look at this place. You know, right behind us, rolling hills, great foliage, perfect day. Perfect day for it. And today we're gonna be wearing the new uh, FootJoy Hydro Tour and we're gonna be giving one away. So, we're gonna talk about it, we're gonna talk a little bit about layering, because this time of the season, late October, you gotta be smart it's about- It's key to layer, man. You gotta be smart about your yep. layers. So we're gonna talk about what we're, what we're wearing, what we're layering up in, but these jackets, the brand new Hydro Tours, where it's a $300 value, we're gonna give one away. So stay mm. tuned, later in the video, we're gonna tell you guys how you can win one. Yeah, yeah. I love this thing already. It's great. It's Dude, great. The, the mobility of it, you know? Well, Nothing today, to worry about. today we're gonna need it, because it's 50 degrees right now. Yep. Uh, not too terrible, but it, I'm hoping as this sun comes up, it's gonna start warming up. But I am chomping at a bit. Let's just get out there the first tee and get going. Let's go, man. You ready? Let's do it. Let's go. All right. There's Justin. He's our host. Justin, thanks for having us out today, man. This place Welcome. looks amazing. Welcome. It's great. How long have you been a member here? I've been here for about four years. Okay. Awesome. So we're playing the Hamilton tees, about 6,500, boys. Okay. What's the name of the 7,000s? What do they call it? Uh, those are called the uh, the Brady course, I believe. Okay, the Brady course. They, so they we're not staying away, stay away from that. Stay away from that. <laughs> hey, this first hole, it's 315. To the, to the green. You know how excited so. I am to hit this club? Is there a better time to take out the yeah, Exactly. I'm so excited right now. <laughs> this could be a part three. I'd still take it out. Four. Let's see what That's you say. That's a house. A lot of balls there. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I just whipped it. Well, you really are on a farm because that's a horse grave right there. Reminds me of the old Dwight Schrute joke. If you hit another horse, you dug too deep. <laughs> Too hot. Too hot. I'm in. Woo! Oh, right, right. Right. Good bar. Right. Hey, at least Mike, I don't. I won't be throwing any buckets of water at you today. I hope not. <laughs> I hope it doesn't surprise me at some point. But if it does rain, if it does. We're good. Yeah, we're good. We know that. <laughs> and if you guys haven't seen that yet. We had a lot of fun testing how waterproof these jackets really were. You guys check it out. I'll tell you what, the bunkers here are something I hadn't hadn't come to mind, you know, thinking about the course and now seeing them, you know, firsthand. They are deep. And uh, Justin said we haven't seen anything yet. He said just wait for uh, seven and seventeen. So we'll see. That's the one. I don't want it. Be enough though. Oh, yeah. Money. Great shot. Hey, what did I say, guys, uh, about a hole ago about how deep these bunkers are? Here we go. I was so focused on the height that I had to get out of there that I didn't realize how heavy that sand was. It just stopped the club dead, but at least I'm out of the trap. Do 
can see my house from here. Two wishes. <laughs> That'll be fine. Good nice shot. Ball. There's a lot of, um, on the facility, there's a lot of the barns and stuff that, that are kind of like still standing. And there's this one, if you've seen any photos of this place on Instagram, it's like probably the most picturesque barn out here. But it's right off there in the distance. We're gonna be playing up to that on the next hole. Great shot. Thank you. All right, so six hole. This is the barn hole. You were saying that two people have hit the barn from the tee, this tee. Yep. And what's the better yard, 350? About 350, 360, yeah. Do you know who hit it? I think Troy Glaus hit it once. Okay. And uh, our local club champion hit it once, from what I hear. Jeez, that's a that is a bomb. But I'm gonna go for it, I'm gonna try. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Good ball. You gotta still wedge out from that barn. Yep. <laughs> That's it. I love the sound of the yeah, it's great, right? GSI, right? It's great sound. All right, so if Frankie skulls this shot, hits the barn, and still makes par, he gets a Barney. Is that something special? Barney. I haven't seen one yet. Oh, no one's okay. It's gotta be worth at least a drink, right? I think so. Barney. <laughs> no Let's just try it. There's no windows on it. He's just gonna try to hit the barn. Go Barney. Got barn written all over it. Oh no, it's actually short. It's of actually barn. a great shot. It's probably a shot you should have played. <laughs> Did you clip it? We hit the barn. <laughs> Let's go make a Barney. You know the saying that you can't hit the side of a barn? That's me right now. I couldn't hit the side of that barn. Of I couldn't barn. hit the broad side of that barn. <laughs> Cooked it again. Jeez! Oh, a little more left. Good swing. That looks good. Very nice. Again, like I said, all the old buildings you can see around. They call this hole the creamery, because I guess when this was a functioning farm, that was the creamery over there. And then another thing that's really cool about it is you've got all of the old farm equipment still out, kind of on display. So they really keep it that rustic look. So talking about layering, is just something we talk about on the podcast, but often, like especially new golfers, you don't think of like apparel as being golf equipment. But if you don't have the right apparel, it's tougher to play. So one big thing, especially this time of the season, as it starts to be the cold mornings, cold you know, evenings, but then it's warm in the middle of the day, is all about that layering so that you can take off and put on. I mean, it sounds obvious, but it's true. But the most important thing is having those layers that uh, can move with you. So for me, I wear my polo. I like to wear a nice mid layer. And then you saw with the Hydro Tour, some sort of outer layer, which also doubles for if rain blows through or something like that, which we're lucky it's not doing that right now. It's nice and clear. But uh, another few weeks, it gets a little bit colder. Then I'll also throw a thermal base layer on. And with those layers, I could play until it snows, really. Did, Did you... I get you? That's a 12V. You got me, dude. Give this guy a TSI and he just starts out driving me now? What I find really cool about the design of this course is that a lot of the tee shots are very open, big fairways. Uh, not a lot of spots you can get in a lot of trouble. So it's a big confidence builder off the tee. You can kind of, and that's the fun part too. I mean, I like courses that are playable fun. You can really kind of get into it, 
and get your fairways. However, it's your approach shots that become dangerous. And some of these bunkers around the green are, you know, shot adders quick. I mean, your score around the greens can add up really fast, even if you've got a great drive. So you still get all that challenge. The approach is where the challenge really is here. But um, just look at this one bunker right here and how short side this pin is. All right, par five, 11th here, and Justin's taking us up to the tips. We're gonna mix it up. We're gonna play the tips on this hole because he said the view was just uh, too good to pass up. So long hole, 515 from up here, but you gotta put a priority on the views, right? Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, big enough fairway. You're fine. Yep, right back there. That's right oh, where he was center line. Right where he was standing. Yeah, he knew to move. It's a long haul from the tips. Had 300 out. Just moved it out there with the three wood. How about that house, huh? Yeah, right. Don't hit it, dude. Don't hit that house. You don't want to hit it. Each brick is like five grand. <laughs> <laughs> Right. You know what, Mike, even with COVID and some of our trips being canceled, we've still gotten to play a lot of great courses so far this year. Oh yeah, we've been blessed. We have. Where would you rank this one? Ooh. Well, I'm definitely going to put this one in top three, but we've played so many great ones. Uh, Arcola, uh, Mosellum Springs, where were we? So we did Ramsey Country Club, Westchester Hills Country Club, uh, so many good ones. And uh, I would definitely put this one in top three. It's beautiful. It has, a, has a very Hudson National feel with a little Baltus roll mixed in and all that good stuff. So, Plus, we got the perfect day to play it. The place just looks gorgeous today. Yeah, man. still make par from there. All right, warming up again, another layer came off. So, you guys wanna win that Hydro Tour, right? So here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna pick one lucky comment. Comment below, let us know your layering strategy for those days like today, where it's back and forth, it's cold, it's warm, it's cold, it's warm. What do you do, what's your layering strategy? Like I said, it's so important. We're gonna pick one lucky comment, and you're gonna win yourself a Hydro Tour. Good luck. Looks like an interesting hole from here, huh? Uh, it's, a, it's a good hole. You can see all the bunker complexes and the nice little unique feature of the course is when you uh, get to the top end of the, uh, the hole and look back, you can't see any of the bunkers. Oh. Yeah, dude. Oh. I think I'm done for the day after that. Yep. Beauty. I'm gonna head in. End on a high note. That's it. Showmanship. Well, the, the rest of us laid up to the cart sign to not take on these bunkers, but I see you're yeah, going 225. for 225. 240-ish. This is the 240 club. Okay. So let's see. <laughs> There's a wall of bunkers over There's there. There's a like, wall of bunkers, I like know. It's like World War One over there it's on the right. punishment up there for sure, yeah. I know, I know. But no guts, no glory here. That's it, you gotta carry it. All right, all. here we go. Nope. That's good. <laughs> That's gonna be something playing out of there. That's great. Yes! It's a par. Hell of a par. Thank you. Dude, where'd those bunkers go he was talking about, Justin? They're gone. <laughs> you, know, you don't see a single one of them. That's crazy. All right, 100 yards. Been finding the fairway with the driver. The TSI's been treating me well today, but it's the approaches that's been giving me trouble, so let's see if we can turn it around. A little left, not bad. Get down. Get the flick. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Ridiculous shot. So Justin, I hear there's a par three course here called the Hickory, mm -hmm. and heard some good things about it. So tell me. It's what... uh, a nice little hidden gem here uh, on the course. It's the only USGA rated 
full 18 hole par three in the country, I think. Wow. And uh, we've had some famous guests here who have played it before and um, you know, I think it took them a while before they even made par. So it just goes to show you how, Jeez. how, how tough the thing is. Rumors is the fourth best in the world. Fourth best in the world, yeah, of uh, par three courses. What's number one, I think, Augusta? Augusta. It's gotta be Augusta. Gotta be Augusta. Yeah, gotta but, uh, be. Gotta Augusta be Augusta. We said it was not 18, right? I mean, it's only nine holes. Yeah. This is 18. This is 18, so this has gotta be, it, in my opinion. <laughs> Whatever you do, stay out of that bunker on the right side. That's a, that's a long day. It's mountainside over you there. You spend an afternoon in there. Yeah, you do. Good looking shot. Yeah, man. Yeah. Come on. Bunker? No, it's like five feet from the pin. Oh yeah, dude. Right, She's on. Be nice to have a two birdie day on the card. It would be. Yeah, man. Nice birdie. Good birdie. Sweet, sweet. All right, 18. And all I could say is, wow. What a look on this tee box. Close it strong with a couple good tee shots here. A rocket ship, that thing, man. Woo! I love the way that club feels. Hang on. I'll tell you, she may be pretty, but she'll punish you. Mm -hmm. I got nothing I can do with this other than try to wedge it about 50 yards back up to the fairway. Look at this lie. Whew. So all I'm gonna try to do, I got a 52, just pop it up there. That's it, man. That's all you can do. That's it. Take my lumps. My ball just spun all the way back and rolled all the way back off the green. This hole's got my number. Good pot. All right, guys, Hamilton Farms is in the books. What'd you think? Oh, amazing, right? amazing. Not the way I wanted to end it, because 18 just beat me up and dragged me out of here. You went right. from birdie to then getting punished. You're right, right. I'll just remember 17 and forget 18. <laughs> yep. But I tell you what, it, it lived up to everything that we were expecting. Big time. Hyping it, talking about how we wanted to get out here and play. Uh-huh. But uh, what a beautiful course. This is a true Jersey jam. It really is. Big thanks to our host, Justin, for inviting us out here. This place is amazing. Again, I'm putting it in my top three in 2020. I've played maybe all time. Beautiful. Yeah, and you know we're coming back here to play that we gotta par play three the course that's ranked four in the world. We have to come back right, and try so we that. we gotta do that. But guys, don't forget, if you guys wanna win that Hydro Tour, drop a comment, let us know. Like as you saw it today, we had about 10 different layers uh -huh. on back and forth. But that's the way it is this time of year, especially in the Northeast. So let us know your layering strategy. We'll pick one lucky comment to win. And uh, we'll, we'll be back here. Good luck, guys. We'll be guys. back for sure. See you guys.